19. Be bored. Not doing encourages daring ideas. We talked today about powering through pain, fatigue, and exhaustion to reach our entrepreneurial goals. But sometimes stopping is exactly what we need to do to understand what we should be doing next. And stopping, sometimes, requires being bored. Best-selling the personal MBA author Josh Kaufman explained it well on entrepreneur Tara Gentili's Profit Power Pursuit podcast. This is what he said. I'm actually thinking about taking the internet out of my office entirely. The more you can make it harder for yourself to focus on anything else, that's valuable. I think there's a lot to be said for strategic boredom. Just removing all the other things that could be potential distractions. Just get rid of them temporarily. And if you can make what you want to do the most interesting thing that you have in your environment, then a lot more gets done that way. Kaufman calls it strategic boredom. Whatever you're doing, whether it is a strategic session, a pitch deck, or new manuscript, it has to be the most interesting thing happening in your world at that moment. Your social media timeline, mindless busy work, and other potential distractions have no place here. Personally, I found my own work elevated when I minimize the amount of focal points I have, which sometimes means physically unplugging the internet. When is the last time you allowed yourself to be bored? If you can't imagine it, then you likely fear it. Here are three reasons why it scares us. Number one, we waste time being afraid of wasting time. Boredom is considered a bad thing today as we associate it with unproductivity. We always want to feel like we are busy by being on social media, going on business trips, or doing all-nighters for the business. However, our most insightful strategies and ideas happen when we are walking somewhere, taking a moment to think, or actually resting for the moment. In fact, a recent study cited by the Harvard Business Review found that we are more productive when we take time to look at nature. Having been raised in the city, I associate nature with boredom well into adulthood. And perhaps you did too. As the study shows though, nature is really a catalyst for us to pause and access the moment. It gives our brains a chance to process and strategize and avoid potentially time-wasting moves in the future. Number two, we worry that inaction will make things fall apart. The entrepreneurial world seems to operate on two gears, stop or run. You are either running towards profitability or paddling to stay afloat. It is extreme thinking and is what keeps us willingly sacrificing our health and our relationships to reach another business milestone. Crunch time is real, but insane hours, emotional stress, and ridiculous malnutrition are meant for significant stretches, not as the default. Is every moment crucial? Probably not, or your definition of crucial isn't really valid. The truth is that our ego wants to believe that we are sacrificing everything at this moment because it is what is required of us to succeed. Working without pause also helps us avoid boredom, and that very silence that would make us face the truth about the decisions we've made and the ones we keep on making. Number two, we fear we aren't good enough, so we tinker when we shouldn't. The fear of boredom also means that we will mess with things when we really should let them flow naturally. Picture the nervous artist fussing over a painting that is already done, or the business person aggressively addressing a harmless contractual point at the last minute. We have the ability to destroy all of our hard work simply because we can't just sit still and shut up. Mounting scientific evidence says that creatives, the risk takers, and entrepreneurs are more likely to overthink their ideas and strategies to the point of neurosis. The deck is already stacked against us. Don't be your worst enemy.